You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Glebia Palace a number of senior officials, journalists, media personnel, and citizens. His Royal Highness congratulated the guests on the occasion of Eid al Abha, wishing them many happy returns. His Royal Highness affirmed that the efforts and facilitations provided by Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, two pilgrims, has gained global appreciation and admiration. He noted that the success of the Hajj season this year was a result of the facilitation by Saudi Arabia. He expressed thanks and appreciation to Saudi for its efforts in serving Islam and Muslims throughout history, praying to Allah Almighty to protect Saudi Arabia. His Royal Highness expressed pride in Bahraini people's awareness of society and the kingdom's development in all fields. He stressed that protecting the country and its security and stability and providing decent living to citizens is the government's priority. He asserted that communication among the Bahraini society is a distinguished characteristic that needs to be maintained. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also stated that Bahrain possesses a past that is a source of pride. He stressed that the leaders of the Gulf Cooperation Council have protected the region from wars and conspiracies, affirming the need to learn from the past. He hailed the role of national journalism in enlightening the community on public affairs.
In line with the directives of His Royal the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa to develop prompt solutions to increase the flow of traffic throughout Bahrain's road network, the Minister of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, said that the ministry had completed the project of adding a left lane from Rafah Avenue to Muharraq Avenue. This aims to ease traffic coming from the clock roundabout turning east on Muharraq Avenue and heading east on Rafah Avenue. Khalaf noted that the project will reduce the waiting lines on Rafah Avenue by 40 and increase the avenue's capacity by 12%. The project will improve the vehicle movement across the southern governorate and fulfill the local citizens' aspirations for reducing traffic jams on the clock roundabout.